Hello, schools, and welcome to PPM6 TV. I think it was President Abraham Lincoln who said, what the world needs now is a decent £100 cardioid microphone. How right he was. And yet it's taken, well, years, decades, nearly a century, goodness knows how long, I, can't, I don't know anything about President Lincoln, for us to realise that dream. Or have we? Well, Roger Johnson's been doing his best to realise the dream. Roger runs a company called Line Audio in Sweden, and he makes... Uh, uh, a set of microphones that cost, well, not quite $100, but they're about 100 pounds, 100 euros, 110 euros, something like that. And, um, and look at that. That is Roger's CM4. I presume cardioid microphone, cardioid microphone 4. Roger takes a very direct route to his microphone labeling. And just, just for size comparisons, this, that's a, an AKG blue line, kind of standard thing. Look, look how diddy that is. In fact, on the Diddy scale of microphones, you know, a 184 is generally considered a miniature microphone. And yet, the CM4 is two-thirds of the size. But the question is, is it two-thirds as good? Because I guess if it was two-thirds as good, it would still be a bargain being so very affordable. Now, Roger buys the capsules in from an undisclosed source in, uh, in the Far East, I guess, and then uh, packages them very nicely with the electronics and uh, the machining to produce this uh, to produce this compact package. What does it sound like? Well, that's what we're here to find out today. We're going to put it through its paces against the blue line and against uh, the KM184, the Neumann KM184. Let's go. First up, we have the uh, AKG CK93 blue line and uh, over here, Roger Johnson's line audios, CM4. We turn to Garrison Keeler, Lake Wobegon days. The oldest living Wobegonian, Mr. Henry Anderson, 89, is in a state of decline, and his memory of town history now includes such things as President Warren G. Harding living at the Sons of Knut Temple and elephants in the woods, and people running down the street after the great earthquake. So the oldest reliable memory may be Hjalmar Inkvist's of his grandfather, standing with an arm round an elm tree on a summer night, singing Til Norge in Sonja or Rain, to Norway in sun or rain, with tears running down his cheeks. He was 60 years away from Norway. Still he sang, O Norway, your rugged mountains and towering pines, call to me though I have crossed the ocean never to return. O bird in the sky, fly quickly, and tell all of my dear ones that my heart is filled with unspeakable love and sorrow. Homesickness hit the old timers hard, even after so many years. And it was not unusual, Hjalmar says, to see old people weep openly for Norway, or hear about old men so sad they took a bottle of whiskey up to the cemetery and lay down on the family grave and talk to the dead about home, the home in Norway, heavenly Norway. And now the plucky CM4 takes on the KM184, a considerably more expensive proposition uh, coming of course from Mr Neumann. Back to forebears in Garrison Keeler's Lake Wobegon days. America was the land where they were old and sick. Norway where they were young and full of hopes and much smarter for you're never so smart again in a language learned in middle age, nor so romantic or brave or kind. All the best of you is in the old tongue. But when you speak your best in America, you become a yokel, a dumb Norwegian, a dumb Norski. And when you speak English, an idiot. No wonder the old timers loved the places where the mother tongue was spoken. The Evangelical Lutheran Church, the Sons of Knut Lodge, the tavern, where they could talk and cry and sing to their heart's content. O oh, Norway, land of my childish fancies, thy dark green forest is where my soul goes to seek comfort. O oh, bird in the sky, tell me, do they remember me in the old home, or am I a stranger wherever I roam? Poignant stuff there from Garrison Keeler. What do you think about the relative performance? Now that was interesting. 
And uh, first, I should apologise to the Norwegian uh, viewers for that terrible, uh, no doubt, mangling of their language. And I, and I offer you in compensation uh, one of Garrison Keillor's uh, Swedish uh, uh, jokes, which is, uh, I'd been suffering from Swedish flu, which is like Spanish flu, except you know it's your own fault. <laughs> Guy's a genius. Couldn't write a dull word if he tried. Um, a, a big up to Roger Johnson now. Whatever you thought of the, the comparison, I, I think for just over $100, uh, the CM4 is an absolute bargain and a real find. I think in another video we might take it apart and have a look and see what's inside it. Um, he's done a great job and uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'll put a link to Roger's website down there too. Uh, do subscribe, it does help. And I hope you've enjoyed your visit to PPM6. Do come back soon. Bye for now.